Hello and welcome to the McNeil Data Tutorial on how to read the contents of a text box. One of the issues you frequently encounter as a web programmer is how to take information from a form and process it somehow. Uh, intrinsic to that would be how do you take it from some of the elements like a text box and actually work with it. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to show how to take information from a text box and do something with it. In this case, create a dialogue. So first, we'll show you the resulting web page for our demo, and then we'll kind of dive into the code and show you how it works. Here's the web page uh, that we've created. Very simple. There's some instructions at the top, followed by a text box and a button. Now we can type anything we want to in this text box. Let's try hello world. And then click the read button. And you'll notice that our program successfully read the uh, contents of the box and put them in this dialog. And again, we can type in just about anything in here. We'll just put a person's name. And you'll notice that it popped up that changed text in the dialog. So how does all this work? Let's take a look at the code. So here we have some simple HTML code. Uh, in the middle, we have a uh, tag, a script tag, that tells the browser that we're going to be using JavaScript. After that, we have uh, in our body the basic elements of the form. In between these paragraph tags, we have the instructions, followed by an input tag, which is type text, which creates your text box. And we've given it a name called TXT input. After that, we have another input tag. Uh, this time a type button, and in this case we've given it a value of read, so that when you look on the form, it has read on it. And we've given it an on-click parameter, and that tells the, the browser to go ahead and execute whatever script we reference from this on-click. In this case, we're referencing the read box function. Now you'll notice in our JavaScript, we have the read box function defined. There are two basic commands in the read box function. The first command <coughs> takes the information that's in the text box, which as you recall, we called txt input. It takes it using the document get element by ID command and puts it in this variable called txt input. The second command creates the alert dialog. And we're telling it to first render a U typed string followed by the contents of that txt input variable that we defined in the previous statement. So when you see it in action, again, you just click here, it executes the function, which reads the contents of the text box, and then does the alert dialog box, which we see here. We hope that you found this tutorial informative and hope to see you on our website at www.mcneildata.com. On our site we have the source code for this and other tutorials that we hope that you will enjoy.